Well, the catwalk is almost ready for the Algonquin Hotel's annual fashion show and fundraiser. Cats will prance down the runway next week to raise money for their furry friends. Alice de Almeida, chief cat officer at the Algonquin Hotel, is here along with Saki, one of the models being featured, and her handler, Melanie Lee. Welcome to all of you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Well, so before we talk about this fundraiser, for folks who don't know about the Algonquin Hotel, you're the chief cat officer. Explain a little bit about the history of cats at the hotel. The hotel was built, in, it opened in 1902. It's had a cat since the 1920s. The original owner, Frank Case, had a cat named Billy. Billy passed. Stray cat wandered in. Rusty. Rusty soon became Hamlet for John Barrymore. And we are on our 12th cat at the moment, Mr. Hamlet the Eighth. Hamlet the Eighth. And you take care of Hamlet. I am. Uh, I am mother. That's amazing. <laughs> well, you know what? I, I mean, let's talk about Saki. Yeah, I she's mean, amazing. <laughs> look, she's all dressed up. I mean, this is not just your, like, let's go to the store and grab a cat outfit. <laughs> no. <laughs> what is she in? She's dressed as India. Mm -hmm. It's a fat Ada Nieves who does all the costumes. And this year's theme is the small world. So we have several countries represented. And Miss Saki is representing India. Wow. And how long have you had her, Melanie? Four years. I've had her since she was a baby, and she was adopted literally off the streets. Wow. And is this, and how many, is this the first time you've, you're have you participating in this uh, fashion show? Saki's third time. Wow. Saki's third time. And Saki's okay with getting all dressed up? She's fine. Ah, okay, <laughs> She's great. She's a little diva. <laughs> all right. Well, let's talk about, um, first of all, we, we have some wonderful pictures. Of, some of the other now, You cats. call them, like we say, models. You're calling them noodles. because like you know, The cats, the yeah. models. They're, they're, and the first one is uh, sporting Yankees. The Yankees, right? We have a picture. Yeah. I think it's going to um, pop up. There, there you go. Joe, <laughs> Joe DiMuzio. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's Got Joe DiMuzio, and he will be with us on Thursday. On Thursday night. So tell us a little bit, as we show some of these other photos, what is this fundraiser all about? What can people expect? Okay, it's Hamlet's way of giving back because mm. adoption is the only option. Yes. And so we're in support of the Mayor's Alliance for New York City Animals because it encompasses 150 different shelters throughout the city, and it's the home of the Feral Cat Initiative. So we do everything we can to support them, to let their programs go on mm -hmm. and make sure that everybody, all the furry faces have friends <laughs> forever homes. <laughs> Look at this one. Oh, that, that's hat. Joe DiMuzio in another outfit. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is amazing. Joe has been with us since um, 07. That, wow. That's actually, he's Aiden. He's he's wonderful. He was actually Cheetah Rivera one year. So. Oh! Bob and Miranda, I'm now sorry. This is a hairless cat. Yeah, that's back, way back. Uh -huh. um, that's from one of the original shows. Yeah, we've been doing this since 07, and it's just a joy to... Wow. It's, it's great that you're raising money for, you know, the Mayor's Alliance and for rescue animals. And um, so what is the night like? You know, if people want to get tickets, you buy tickets to the event and... The tickets are available online at hamletgetsmart.com. Mm -hmm. There's also a auction on the website and you can bid without coming. Mm -hmm. The ticket price includes um, cocktails, hors d'oeuvres, dessert, and a cat fashion show. <laughs> <laughs> we also have an adoption unit out front starting at three o'clock. So if anyone wants a new friend, they can come uh, get one. And Melanie, just lastly, tell us why it's so important for people to keep cats in mind and adoption and why that's, that's important, especially in the city. There are so many strays out there. It's very heartbreaking. And um, there's kitty kitten seasons where mm -hmm. a lot of unwanted kittens are born. Mm -hmm. There's so many out there waiting to be loved. Yeah. They just need love. Oh, look at They're Saki. Adorable. Thank you all so much for being Thank here. Thank you for having we us. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. For more information about the cat fashion show and how you can get tickets, head to CBSNewYork.com. And it's on August 1st. We'll be right back.